Hello children, welcome back to English of English with Kashish. Yes, so today we are on the poem, a very beautiful love story. It is the poem 4 of your English language chapter. Okay, the poem's name is Lochinwar and it is written by Sir Walter Scott. Yes, now uh, this, before we start the poem, I'll tell you a little bit about this author. This poet, he wrote beautiful ballets. Now this also is a ballet. What is a ballet? Ballet is a story written in a poem form. It's very, very beautiful. And he used to write stories about soldiers and fighters, about their love stories. So are we ready to go into a beautiful love story? Come on, join me. This is Sir Walter Scott. Let's read a little bit about him. He was an excellent storyteller, both in prose and in verse. In this popular ballet, now I told you what is a ballet. It is a story written in the form of a poem. He tells us how in olden days, brave young men in Scotland possessed the necessary dash and luck to do extraordinary things in terms of fights or love, be it whatever it is. His narrative poems fascinate the reader by their gripping action, stirring measure and imaginative appeal. In, with the poem, he used to take us into a beautiful land and he, and imagine, close your eyes, you can actually close your eyes with his poem and go into the poem. Okay, now you can do that with me in this. I'm going to read the poem and what I've done is, all the glossary words, I have put it down so we can understand it together with the poem. Now, while reading it, why don't you underline these words in your book with me and understand the meaning. O young Lochinwar is come out of the west through all the wide border. His steed was the best. Now, he was the best soldier of that time. Who? Yes, Lochinwar. Which border are we talking about here? We are talking about the border between England and Scotland. Between that border, Lochinwar was a soldier, a fighter, a knight who was very, very strong. His steed, his strength was the best. Okay? This is the first line of your poem. And save his good broadsword. He weapons had none. He rode all unarmed and he rode all alone. Now what happened? Where did he go? This is a love story between Lochinwar and his girlfriend. So what happens is his girlfriend uh, goes off to home and his father is getting her married to another boy. Now he's not even waiting for Lochinwar to come back. Yes. So he is angry. What he does is he goes. He goes to get his princess back. Okay. What is broadsword? Broadsword is a battle sword with a broad double edged blade. It is like a sword. Now what happens is there are some kinds of sword. You push a person back and then you fight. But this sword you can only fight and not push. Okay. This is a different kind of sword. So faithful in love and so dauntless in war. There never was night like the young Lochinwar. Now you will see that they have used this word. The main character of the poem on and on and on again. After every four lines, there is Lochinwar. See that, okay? Now what is dauntless? Dauntless is fearless, who is not scared of anyone. That means he, he does a commitment kind of a thing in both. If he is in love, he is fully in love. He is very faithful in love. If he is in a war, he is dauntless. He doesn't get scared of anyone. And he does his best to win the war. Okay? There never was a knight. Now who is knight? Knight is a man of high social position. He is very trained to fight as a soldier on a horse. Knight is always on a horse and they are trained. They are very hard working to fight a war. Alright? There was never a knight like the young 
Lochinwar. He was very, very strong and committed. Now he stayed not for break and he stopped not for stone. He swam the SK river where ford the, there was none. Now he was very, very brave and he didn't get scared of anyone. His only motive was to go to his girlfriend. Yes. Now what is stayed? Stayed is stopped. Okay. He did not stop for anyone. He did not wait for anyone. What is brave? Brave is a thicket. He did not stop for any kind of obstruction which would come on his way. And then there is another word ford here. What do you mean by ford? Ford is a shallow point where the river can be crossed on foot. What did he do? He swam the SK river where ford there was none. There was not even one point where you could walk. He has swam. He, he actually crossed the whole river by his own. He was so much in love with her that he did not even wait for anything. Yeah, let's move on. But ere he alighted at Netherby Gate, but as soon as he entered, he was shocked. He was surprised. He could see that she has already said yes to the parents to get engaged. The bride had consented. The bride had already said yes and he was in a shock. The gallant came late. That's very sad. He actually came late. What is alighted? That means he got down. As soon as he came down at Netherlands, alighted is when he got down. Netherby. Netherby Gate, alright? Netherby Hall is in the north of England. He had gone all the way to England and when he came there, he was sad that the bride has already consented and he could see that they were almost getting engaged. For a laggard in love and a dastard in war was to wed the flair Ellen of brave Lochinwar. Now Ellen was about to just get engaged. What happens next? Laggard. What does laggard mean? Laggard is the one who lags behind. Now in this particular part, they are describing the boy that she was getting engaged with. Laggard is someone who is lagging behind, who is not quite smart. He is very slow. Okay? And a very timid person. He doesn't take decisions like this, like a brave soldier. And a dastard in love. What is dastard? Dastard means coward. He is not expressing his feelings well. He doesn't love her as much as Lochinwar. This is what they say about the boy she was just about to get engaged with. What does he do now? Let's watch. So, boldly he entered the Netherby Hall. Very proudly like a soldier, he entered the Netherby Hall. Among brides, men and king's men and brothers and all. These are all the relatives of the bride. All the bridesmen, king's men and all. He entered like a soldier. Yes, very, very proud. But at that time, he did not tell who he was. He entered like a guest. Yes, he did not say that he was in love with the daughter. But he entered like a guest just to see what's happening. All right. Then spoke the bride's father. Now, when the bride's father saw this boy coming in, he spoke. His hand on his sword. For the poor craven bridegroom said never a word. No one said anything. But the father removed his sword. What was he going to do? What does craven mean? Craven is cowardly. Okay, for the poor cowardly bridegroom said never a word. He could not even say anything. Why is the father removing the sword? He did not utter a word. He was a coward. He did not have the guts to say anything. Oh, come ye in peace here or come ye in war or to dance at our bridal. Young Lord Lochin War. What did he say? Either you come here in peace or you come in war or dance at our bridal young lord Lochinwar. 
You either come here for peace or war or dance. What have you come here for, O oh Lord Chinwar? I long wooed your daughter, my suit you denied. Love swells like the soul way, but ebbs like its tide. I'm going to read this glossary first and then I'm going to explain the part. Now what does Solve mean? Solve is the river that separates England from Scotland. And the spring tides in the river Solve are believed to be very, very powerful. Okay, now he says, from the longest time I have been seeing your daughter. Yes, my suit you denied. You said no to my proposal. Love swells like the swell, soul way, but ebbs like its tide. Now my love is at a powerful extent right now. Okay, he says that. And now, am I come with this lost love of mine? To lead but one measure, drink one cup of wine. He wants to have a cup of wine with them and tell them that now I have come for my lost love. There are maidens in Scotland more lovely by far. That would gladly be bride to the low young Lochinwar. Now so many girls at that party were looking at Lochinwar and they were all like there are, they were like such a young fellow. I would love to get married to him. He is so handsome. There are so many maidens there who are lovely who would gladly be bride to the young Lochinwar. The bride kissed the goblet. The knight took it up. He quaffed off the wine and he threw down the cup. Now goble is a wine glass. Now the bride took the wine glass. She was just about to have it. What did the knight do? What did Lochinwa do? He took the glass from the bride. He drank the whole glass quickly and threw the glass. Yes, what is quaffed? Quaffed is drank quickly and goblet is the glass of wine. So when the bride was just about to have wine, what did he do? He came in front, he took the glass from her, he drank it quickly and threw it because he was in love and he was in angry love that time. She looked down to blush. Now she looked at him and she was already in love and she looked up, she first blushed, she looked down and then she looked up and she sighed with a smile on her lips and a tear in her eye. Now these are mixed emotions right now for the bride. She was in love but she was so emotional right now. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know how to react. She was happy and sad. She was angry yet in love. He took her soft hand ere her mother could bar. Her mother also could not stop them. Now tread we measure, said young Lochinwar. What is this measure? A slow and stately dance. This kind of dance they do uh, in Scotland, which is really, really fast, okay? And they were so much in love and emotions were at high peak that time that he took her soft hand. Mother also could not stop. And they started doing measure very, very beautifully. Now tread we a measure. Now let's start the dance. So stately his form and so lovely her face that never a hall such a galliard did grace. So here galliard is a spirited dance for two. Okay, this is the dance that we were talking about, the fast dance. Now when they were dancing, they were in their own world. Their form was so beautiful and stately and her face was so lovely that now the whole hall was looking at them and it looked like the whole hall was lightened up, shining, beautiful, yes. While her mother did fret and her father did fume and the bridegroom stood dangling his bonnet and plume. Now her mother was really anxious and she was getting angry also but she was really motionless and her father was very very angry 
but the bridegroom stood dangling doing nothing he was a coward he didn't do anything he he was dangling his hat and his stick and just roaming around there doing nothing and the bride maidens whispered to each other who are bride maidens bride maidens are uh, brides sisters or cousins and friends who are always with the bride so they were whispering ps, 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 to each other they said it were better by far to have matched our fair cousin with young lochinwar they wanted her to marry lochinwar only yes they said this is such a beautiful couple much better than that other boy one touch to her hand and one word in her ear when they reached the hall door and the charger stood near what is charger it's a horse that is used in a battle now just after one touch to her hand as soon as they danced and one word in her ear he said something to her and what did they do they reached the hall door they came to the exit door and the charger there was a horse already standing next uh, on which lochinwar had come right it was standing near the door so they went and as soon as they went they charged up so light to the croup the fair lady he swung so light to the saddle before her he sprung he took his lady love and ran away on the horse like a beautiful shining soldier so they didn't even wait for anything else they sat on the horse and ran away she is one we are gone over bank bush and scor they'll have flee steeds that follow quoth young lochinwar now they won their love won they ran away they are gone over the river over the bush over the stones what is scor scor are the steep rocks that are sharp but they didn't care they ran away what are crop crop are behind the saddle on the horse back yes behind the saddle on the horse back that part is called a crop yes all right so let's move on there was mounting mong grames of the netherby clan now everyone at netherby were screaming and shouting and saying what happened where is the bride where did she run away they were all whispering they were all screaming fosters fenwicks and musgraves they rode and they ran who are these these are names of the various clans supporting the lord of the netherby clan these are all the uh, people who support the netherby family so they all ran behind them as fast as they can to find lochinwar and the bride but did they find her were they able to track them there was racing and chasing on canopy lee but the lost bride of netherby near did they see they never saw the bride they ran behind for so long but they vanished they ran the love succeeded yes the love story came to an end but a beautiful end when the soldier got his bride back so daring in love and so dauntless in war have you heard of gallant like young nochilwar have you heard of any gallant like this a king like this a soldier a fighter like this have you heard of any this is the end of part 1 of the poem i will see you soon for the part 2 of the poem wait for me